Hello everyone and welcome to our taster session here at East Norfolk Sixth Form College today for graphic design. We're thrilled you've all managed to make it and we hope this presentation will throw some light onto what our course looks like, what you will experience if you decide to study A-level graphic design with us here at the college and also to answer some of the more common questions that we experience. My name is Ryan Smithurst and I teach both A-level graphic design and fine art at East Norfolk. I've been teaching here at the college for the past 15 years and I've helped shape the graphic design course into how it looks today. My background is in both graphics and illustration but my education and training was largely interdisciplinary. The visual arts have been a key element in my personal life, education and professional life since I could hold a pencil and my love for all things art and design filters into every aspect of my life on a daily basis. My friend and colleague Julie Bolas is the other member of staff here at the college who also teaches both fine art and graphic design. Similar to myself, Julie's background and education has been largely interdisciplinary with a specialism in both design and illustration. Julie has worked alongside me for the past 15 years at East Norfolk Sixth Form College, developing an excellent working partnership. So what is graphics exactly? And what does the course look like here at East Norfolk? The fast-growing world of media, technology and business creates an exciting and ever-broadening creative landscape for young designers to enjoy diverse, exciting and rewarding careers in the arena of commercial arts. Graphics is a diverse subject within the visual arts, involving a multitude of art and design disciplines and materials. The emphasis is on experimentation and idea development, often using any appropriate visual means and materials to satisfy illustration and design briefs. You will gain experience using a range of digital and manual processes with an emphasis on combining both for design outcomes. Areas to explore include advertising, branding, illustration, animation, packaging, typography and designs for multimedia. Some examples of recent projects that have been created by our students here at the college include advertising for a travel company using stop time animation, illustration and cover design for a graphic novel, packaging design for a new energy drinks brand, logo design and graphics for a new fashion label, anti-war poster design, website design for an animal charity and promotional material for a music festival. The course is designed to identify and capitalise on each individual's particular skills and interests with a central aim of creating a diverse and energetic studio environment. It's here that the individual can then explore and discover the graphic designer that they most wish to be. The emphasis is on developing skills in colour, typography, composition and ideas across a vast range of materials and processes from photography, digital illustration and collage, to printmaking, cut paper and stenciling to name but a few. We use fully up-to-date industry standard Adobe software of which no prior knowledge or experience is necessary to begin the course. Other subjects at the college that you might choose to study that go hand in hand with graphic design include 3D design, photography, media studies, games design, fine art and fashion and textiles. The art and design courses here at the college are assessed against four assessment objectives. Assessment objective one is the development of your ideas alongside demonstrating analytical and critical thinking. Assessment objective two is the ability and willingness to explore and experiment with different materials and processes alongside reviewing and reflecting on your work. Assessment objective three is the ability to record ideas and make your intentions clear for each project. Assessment objective four is the ability to present your final work and make connections with other artists, designers and illustrators. Here we are going to have a quick look at some examples of the work our students have made just this year. So here we have some examples of work from four projects our students tackled this year. First off we have Flora and Fauna Perfume Packaging Advertising and Brand Identity. The student enjoyed combining hand-drawn elements with digital typography for her own brand. 
Second along, we can see some vector illustrations in a simplified style for use in a film poster design for the film Shaun of the Dead. The student enjoyed exploring simplifying shape and colour. Bottom left, we see some beautiful cut paper illustrations on the theme of food and drink. These images would later be used to advertise and brand an Asian food restaurant. And lastly, we see a series of quirky and playful digital illustrations for a zine design promoting positive body image. The student enjoyed drawing on screen with the Wacom tablets and creating her own typefaces. So to the left of this slide, we can see a series of monoprints and hand lettering used for the branding and advertising of the show Walking with Dinosaurs. Top right, we can see some lovely and simple digital illustrations for a fictional dating app and website, again created using the Wacom tablets and drawing directly on screen in Photoshop. And lastly, at the bottom right, we can see two book jacket designs, Treasure Island and Solaris, created by using cut paper symbols Relating to the stories, these would make a beautiful series for collector's editions. Each year our graduating students head off all around the country to study a variety of art and design related courses, including at some of the elite universities and institutions the UK has to offer. So some are Norwich University of the Arts or Newer, Falmouth University, Leeds University, Lincoln, Nottingham Trent and the University of the Arts London. The number of potential employment avenues for graphic designers is endless. Whether you are interested in marketing, photography, advertising, illustration, web design, branding, typography, packaging or publishing, studying graphic design can get you there. So where is graphic design in the real world? Well, it is everywhere. We see it on logos, street signs, CD covers, movie posters, music posters, brochures, business cards, flyers, stickers, all over television, all over the website, uh, web design, Adver advertisements, billboards, book covers, magazine covers, clothing, video games, and all forms of packaging. Here we will take a look at some of the frequently asked questions we often get about A-level graphic design at East Norfolk. Do I have to be good at drawing to take graphic design? The answer is no. You will be taught how to draw using a range of techniques and approaches during the skills building weeks and if you don't want to draw at all then you can use many other materials and processes to tackle your project briefs including photography, digital design, collage, stenciling, typography, printmaking and typography to name just a few. What materials will I need to buy for this course? It would be good for you to have the basic materials to start with, such as a variety of fine liners, pencils, a glue stick and marker pens. Your teacher will go through a list of basic materials that will be required when you start in September. How is graphic design different from fine art? In graphic design you will work to a set brief with constraints and limitations. You are often asked to communicate to a specific audience and include typography. You can use all the same techniques and processes as art, however. You will also learn digital techniques using the Adobe Creative Suite, including Photoshop, Animate, InDesign and Illustrator. How is the course structured and is there an exam? The course is spread across two years of study. There is one main component for year one titled the Personal Creative Inquiry. There is no exam during the first year. There are two main components in year two titled the personal investigation and the externally set assignment. There is a 15 hour practical exam at the end of year two. If you would like to look a little deeper into graphic design before starting the course, here are some useful books and links. A Smile in the Mind, Witty Thinking in Graphic Design. Know Your Onions, Graphic Design. 
how to use graphic design to sell things, explain things, make things look better, make people laugh, make people cry, and every once in a while change the world. As a little holiday task also, you could tackle this. Over the summer holidays, choose one illustrator or designer from one of the website links below, select one piece of their work and write 200 words about why you chose it. So it's debutart.com and centralillustration.com. You can find us on social media at Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. The links are below. And finally, here are our contact details. Please feel free to get in touch if you have any further questions. Also, please stick around for our Taste Today task, which is coming up. Thank you for attending today, and we hope this presentation has been helpful. Hope to see you soon.